Hello, hello, it's Myrtle Man here. Today we have another episode of Minecraft New Appalachia. And in today's episode, I would like to mention that there has been a change to the timeline speed. So, uh, for now on, the timeline speed, instead of being two real world weeks equals one in game year, it will now be 24 real world days equals one in game year. So I decreased the speed because I needed more time to work on other stuff and I didn't want the years to lack things happening. So I have slowed them down. And uh, this is a better speed because it means that the months can all be equal. So they are now two days is a month. Okay, so uh, let's begin. So uh, I am wearing my pilgrim outfit, but that is because I like it. And uh, I never knew pilgrims looked so cool. So uh, technically this uh, doesn't break the rules of uh, this world because <laughs> Pilgrims were before this uh, city, so yeah, I can dress like a pilgrim, and I'm not breaking the rules. So uh, we have some apartments here as we start out, and uh, these were built in uh, 1900 and game. And uh, I would like to ask that uh, as we start this tour, please leave a like and subscribe, and share the video. And uh, thank you. So let's uh, get back to the tour. Okay, so now that you have left a like on the video and subscribed, we have this Chase Bank. This was uh, the first bank that I built in this world. Granted, there aren't very many of them yet. Uh, this was probably built in 1900 in game. This was probably the first, one of the first buildings, I know that, in uh, the world. So uh, the other thing that you will notice about Alexandria Street are these trees. And they, uh, they do make it look nicer, I'll admit. Oh, what's this? An opened door. Um, well, I guess we'll go in here. And I'll explain more about why you will see trees at certain parts and not others. So there's a warehouse over here. And uh, not much of an interior, but still kind of an interior. So you can go inside and you can look out. Um, it's beautiful and all of that. You can look out over here where you have the first street L built by my company, the WMT, which is uh, not a completed L. Then we go over here and you can actually go out through the back because we have these loading doors over here again there are no cars yet for the most part there are still horses so there's cobblestone uh, there is some asphalt but it's it's rare it's uh, not the norm okay so um, you have that station over there uh, the first street L is incomplete so it's still closed and uh, we'll see that on a different uh, day. Maybe I'll have a first street tour. Okay, so uh, I will show you my uh, living area. So my apartment. So I live up here. And we go to the top floor. And we go to the top here. We make our way up. And it's not that one. And it is up here. Weird walls. So, 5A, this is where I live, so uh, of course I have some uh, mafia duties to take care of, so I do have some gold in here. Um, I have my M1, Garand, and I have some materials there, you know, uh, might need to buy somebody off, or just my profits in general. And uh, I have some special sugar in there, and uh, some other things, and of course my trusty shotgun okay so uh, over here we have my kitchen we can see out 
uh, not the best view in the world, but it's, uh, it's better than uh, living on the lower floors anyway. Again, Smithtown isn't the nicest area, but it's, it's nice. I like it. I do like uh, what I have built so far. And over here, you can see out to the Smithtown Road station over there. That's uh, the Gordon L, by the way, in case you're new to this series. So down here, there's a courtyard. If you want to see that, then you will have to see, I think it's the first episode where I show that. And it may be in black and white, but uh, deal with it, right? So uh, let's proceed. Over here again, there's this wall because there's a courtyard back there and uh, we have another apartment over here and an alleyway alleyways uh, I do a lot of those because they fill in the space between the buildings it looks like you can't access this one unless you live in uh, the apartment complex so uh, I'll show that in the first streets uh, episode so uh, again there's another apartment here i have added fire hydrants so we have those around and uh i forgot what these are called they are some type of uh water i guess access point uh which you have around so then you have another apartment over here where's the entrance to this one maybe it's at first streets yeah that's probably at first street so uh, here we are at Swamplands Avenue. So above us we have the Gordon L, and it has a junction over here where it uh, allows for shuttles to cross over there. Uh, some will use the viaduct, and some will just use this connection over here. And uh, viaduct trains bypass the 3rd Avenue station, which uh, is over there a bit. Uh, a bit west. Okay, so here we are at the block of Swamplands Avenue, Alexandra Street to Quartz Street. So over here there is a, a warehouse, which you can see inside. And uh, this is cool. I like uh, this thing that I've created over here. What are these? I don't know what the purpose of this is, actually. <laughs> it's just the beams. Somebody, uh, if you know what the purpose of this is, then please tell me. But uh, I saw these in uh, old warehouses in uh, Greenpoint on Google Maps in Brooklyn. So I have also added some details over here, which are just boxes. So I believe we can go inside of this. Yep, there are doors over here. And I think it has roof access albeit dark on the inside so uh, we can proceed up here to the top and it's uh, very opened so I like it so let's proceed up oh look you can see the tracks over there so let's go through this door which will take us to the roof it's so bright and here we are on the roof okay so um, I'll go over here. You can see the first street L. This is a WMT elevated structure. You can see a station over there. And the viaduct above it. And then if we go over here, you can see this uh, dock. Oh, can I not just... Oh, wow. Okay. I'm surprised I can't just walk over this. I thought I could just walk right off and die. Um, anyway, <laughs> so uh, there's, again, more uh, details over there. And you can see over there. And um, let's head uh, back down. And you can see over there to Smithtown Road. Okay. So we're back outside. Okay. So let's head over here and make our way west along Alexandria Street. So you can see the area has noticeably deteriorated 
and that is because of numerous factories contributing to the area looking more run down. So that's just what happened. So there are uh, a few residential buildings right here. You have an apartment and two smaller uh, residential units. Then there is an alleyway over here. And uh, I will point out, you can see down there, there are basements in these buildings. So we can move by these packages and there are some horse stables here. I put a rat spawner down here. It's not working, unfortunately. I wanted it to spawn rats over here so that when you go over here, there are rats, but that doesn't work. So there's horse stables here, so you can put your horse here if you want. Over here, this leads to Smithtown Road, which we are not looking at in this episode. Um, I'm hoping to do a different episode for Smithtown Road, but... <laughs> Um, the lamp over there is shattered, and that's due to mafia activity in the area. They've, uh, there have been a lot of, uh, shootouts on, uh, Smithtown Road and nearby. So, some, uh, lamps are shattered, unfortunately, over there, as it has been deteriorating. Then there is another alleyway over here, and... That goes to First Street. We can make our way over here to Quartz Street. So, here we are at Quartz Street. So, there will be a different video touring Quartz Street once I have the buildings extended <laughs> all the way to the Smithtown Civil War Cemetery, which is quite a ways south. Maybe it's probably two miles. Probably more, maybe. I don't know. I haven't measured it. But uh, that's quite uh, a bit further south. So, uh, you've probably noticed that the area really deteriorates over here. So, uh, basically, what happened is, due to mafias being known to live in this area, when a vote happened on where to put the trees and uh, which blocks should have trees on this street. Since most residents live over there, they decided that they don't want trees over here due to mafias and they, they view it as a waste of money. So unfortunately, due, uh, for the residents that live over here, um, this area will not be improving anytime soon. So, uh, now that we've explained that, or now that I've explained that, not we, who's we? We can go over here. So, over here there is a barber shop, and you can see Smithtown Road over there. Another smashed slash shot out lamp post over there. And uh, let's proceed over here to the very end of Alexandria Street. So it's uh, there's just grass here, no trees this time, grass instead. And as you can see, again, uh, the residents have decided to now neglect this part of the street and they're not uh, having the city maintain it anymore. So it's really decaying pretty badly, unfortunately. So, over here you have a warehouse and another fire hydrant and a water access point. I'm just going to call these water access points until I uh, decide to search up what they're called. So, you have this uh, building over here. Um, it's just a warehouse. Uh, inconspicuous. Nothing's going on there. So, don't worry about it. Okay, so uh, then you have access to an alleyway over there. And uh, another massive warehouse over here. And this one is huge. It goes, look how big this one is. It goes all the way from Quartz Street to Leverett Street, where Alexandra Street ends. So welcome to Leverett Street and the Leverett Park. Well, not Leverett Street, Leverett Avenue. See, that's how long it's been since I've been on this world that I forgot that this was called Leverett Avenue. 
And uh, yes, this is uh, named Leverett Avenue. Uh, there is a YouTuber, what's his name? I think it's Caleb Leverett. And uh, yeah, so this one's for him. So Leverett Avenue. Okay, so uh, there we go. So that's it. That's Alexandria Street. It's a very short street, but it's the first one that has been finished. So now this street will, uh, I guess, upgrade over time and we'll see how it uh, progresses over time or digresses. So now, in case you're wondering if there are any secrets or urban mysteries at Alexandria Street, there are in fact some urban mysteries. I have already included the lore to this street, but there are urban mysteries. So if we go into this alleyway and uh, proceed over here, where we have this uh, poorly maintained alleyway, well, I guess all of the alleyways in the city are sort of like this because there's not much to put here at uh, this time. I could put clothes hangers, but they're sort of intricate for something that's not going to last. So, we have a secret here. New Appalachia, subterranean river access, Leverett River. So, um, in case you didn't know, uh, before the cities were built, there were rivers, so you can't just delete rivers. You can't just cover them up because if you do that, then you will have flooding problems. So what they did is they built subterranean tunnels and they rerouted those various uh, streams or small rivers into those tunnels. So let's have a look at one of them. So New Appalachia. Subterranean river access. Leverett River. So we can go down these stairs. Very creepy, right? And here we go. So we have this room, which is right under the warehouse. Okay, so here we go. There is a maintenance shaft right here. Not a shaft, sorry. A maintenance room. I, uh, I get the words mixed up sometimes, so you'll have to forgive me if you're new. So, we have this room here, and this is just a maintenance area. So, if you're a worker, you can go down here, wade through these tunnels, or maybe you're an urban explorer and you want to explore this tunnel, you can do that as well. And this, if you go uh, this way, west, it will go to the park. If you go east, it will go to the sewer chamber at First Street. So, that's cool, right? Okay, so there is a bit of uh, urban lore and urban uh, exploration that can be done over there. So we'll see if I do any episodes uh, exploring that. So, let's uh, finish this one up. Okay, so here we are back at Quartz Street. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you are new again, please subscribe. And uh, let's go over here. And uh, please leave a like. Share the video. And make sure to check out my new series with Train Rider Rail Fan, where we cover the history of some of the least popular. <laughs> in, uh, not the whole game.